Hello everybody, my name is Kato, welcome back for a new video of I Am Your President. We're back for some more of this fantastic game right here. Uh, we're doing pretty good so far in my own opinion now. Uh, because I successfully like uh, developed the traits, so, so, uh, safety network, it helped us out tremendously with society, which allowed me to be a dumbass and completely ignore Super Bowl. Uh, so that's a good thing because I really don't care about Super Bowl boys. I just want to be myself and act as I would as the president. Now that might be a bad thing. That might be a good thing. For certain things is good. For another things is bad, boys. That's just usually how it goes, right? So uh, right now, though, I'm working currently. Uh, next turn, I believe we're gonna have the eco network uh, done. So we're gonna go on global network, uh, global eco network, boys. Uh, for economy and uh, all store, all sorts of good stuff, weather, right? So we're gonna try and work on that uh, change, the climate change and stuff. Uh, cliffhanger makes us wait more, so 180, uh, 98 days until the election. I do wonder, this went up, this definitely went up right there. We've got a big crisis going on and also uh, international scandal. Uh, so, your repetition has been permished in foreign media. M rumor has it that you were not behaving appropriately during the visit and kept patron patronizing the locals. Wow, alright, I'm a, I'm an asshole, I guess. Damn, so I am not liked uh, across the country. People do not like me, I guess. Uh, this military went down, so some stuff are actually going down. Industry is really going down, though. And that's probably because of those, the old uh, de development thing, thing that I did. We got some news. Self-help group turns out to be a self-harm coup. Hollywood-based self-help group called Doors of Happiness was suddenly exposed as a self-harm cult by dozens of disappointed and disturbed mo former members. At first, I felt understood and loved there, says Vanessa Wallace, an actress who was a cult member from, uh, for almost two years. After some time, our leader, Michael, started convincing us that love one exists for long without fear and that pain and pleasure are basically the same thing. He was watching the Hellraiser series on repeat uh, back then. Damn. Now that's rough, boys. That's rough news right there. Oh, I got some new mail. What is this? J just tell me, bro. You good? Who the fuck is... What is this? Positive? Negative? Angry? I'm gonna be positive, I guess. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, who are you and why do you even ask? Now, what is this? Don't know. Friends call me Mo. Uh, Mo, take care, bro. Okay. That's very strange, boys. Uh, can somebody. Where's international security right here? Where's the uh, CIA? What the fuck are they doing right now? They're not protecting my secure network right here. I'm getting act here. What the fuck is going on? All right, so that's done. So now we can actually with that boys. That means we can actually officially uh, We can't work on it just yet. Okay, never mind, but global demon uh, demolition. No, I can't work on that just yet. Okay, never mind boys. I thought I could work on the um, projects, but I guess not yet. So let's keep working on development strategies. We don't want to. We gotta be careful. Industry. We don't want. We don't want it to be uh, going down. We actually need our industry to go back up. So let's sacrifice a little bit of society for some industry uh, business bailout, boys. The show must go on. Let's go. Let's do that. It's gonna take a turn. We need. Or we're gonna need that to go up again because this is pretty bad right here. Uh, so let's see what we got next. It's this guy again. Now, if you talk to me about the Super Bowl again, I'm firing you. I'm telling you right now, so you better not. Uh, time flies, don't you think? Yeah, winter ended kind of abrupt abruptly. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, winter has ended. No more snow, no problems. Or probably just not this kind of problems. Because we have so many other issues to discuss. First of all, there's a convention. Okay, it's pretty obvious that I'll be chosen to run for re-election since I'm the recurrent president. Well, I would not be so cocky. There's a lot of factors, some of which I've already mentioned at the beginning of this year. We have to keep track of the ratings, otherwise it may not be so pleasant a surprise. Uh, how can we boost them? Okay, so I'm doing quite fine. 
I don't need your advice. I can't do any of those, so I guess. Uh, let's see. How can we boost those ratings? It is not some kind of game. Uh, there are no precise numbers. You uh, you just have to do your best. Try not to do anything silly. Take care of your pro uh, uh, projects and development strategies as well as the cabinets and everything will be fine. I guess. Anyway, we have to prepare, uh, prepare for the convention. How would you like to present um, to be present uh, presented when the time comes? Uh, a statesman? America needs someone strong as their ruler. Okay, that would bring up both of these things. As a family oriented, it may makes me more rea uh, reliable. Uh, I do need this to go up the industry. Businessman, well, who is running the country? Capitalism is key to success. To be honest, not really. Uh, I'm more of a communist boy, so capitalist is my enemy. So I, I would say a uh, statesman. America needs something, uh, someone strong as its ruler. I'm gonna do a statesman. America needs someone that is strong as the ruler. So we need that. So it went down for diplomacy, but went up for military. Okay, so uh, all right, that sounds reasonable. I will organize a press conference and you will present your statesman, a statement. This should have a good influence in our ratings and put you a good light. Okay, uh, I want to talk to the journalists. Uh, sure, let's talk to the journalists for once. I almost, for, almost forgot, there is no uh, one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. It's an examination. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't want to take any exams. I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, exactly. Exams like medical exam? I'm afraid of the needles. What now? No, I'm a, I'm too old for this shit. Uh, Mr. Pres I meant medical examination. You know, blood pressure, Im immunity, general condition. Oh, okay. I'm healthy as a horse. Uh, well, what for exactly? What uh, What do I need this for? Well... Still, uh, uh, still, this kind of information should be public for a uh, presidential candidate. What is even more important, it is required for the, uh, by the party. Because we wouldn't like to push forward someone who is not well. Well, I, I, I will start doing more exercise from now on to, uh, to do well. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you've got a point here. I should... No, of course not. I'm, uh, but I'm healthy. I am healthy right now. Okay, I will find a right doctor as soon as I become a president. Okay, got you. So I guess we need a doctor or something. Make sure that I'm all right. I've got I, I don't have the uh, I don't have the flu or I don't have the other thing, boys. I guess press conference. Let's see what we got. So clip on jumping highlighted journalist to qu uh, get a question. Not answering in in time means you ignore this question. You can answer only one question at a time. Okay. There are three ways to answer a question. To get extra bonuses, answer as many questions as you can. Ignore them will not count. Bonuses as mainly positive. Bonuses are mainly positive tasks. Okay. All right. So press conference is about to begin. Let's have this, boys. Let's see how it goes. We got to be fast about this. All right. So questions. Who's got a question right here? Oh, this one. Yeah, Mr. Bre are you absolutely sure you're not old for this? Uh, too old. Your mother's too old. Uh, the older I get, the better I am as a leader. Okay. How about you? Would you like to say something to our readers? Vote for me. Okay. How about this? Uh, do you stay in touch with your ex-wife? No. Nope. Next, please. How about this? Uh, would you? Uh, uh, what would you do if you were not chosen for the second term? A failure is not an option. I don't want to know about politics as my life. A failure is not an option. There we go. What about you? W uh, who would you call the vice president your friend? Definitely. Uh, well, we are good. We're on good terms, I guess. There we go. What about you? We were told that your priority for the second term is keeping a military continue. But I that this uh, strong, solid economy, top-notch diplomacy. There we go. Uh, how has that year's uh, been for you so far? Oh, okay. I didn't have enough time, boys. Well, I tried to answer as many questions as possible that way. Why? That went super quick. That was stressful as fuck. What the hell? I mean, I had way too many stuff at the same time. I couldn't answer all these questions. And the um, the timer was way, going way too fast for me to actually read what, what was going on. So I went with my instincts, I guess. All right. So I think we're done. Yeah, we're done for the day, boys. Let's go to the next day. Judgment day. 100 days until the election. We're going really uh, quick, boys. It's getting there until the next election. So uh, Kenya crisis. We got a new, uh, a new crisis. That's in Africa, right? 
Yes, it is. So we got some bad stuff that happened in Afghanistan, I guess. We secured our things. Uh, I guess they're our puppet, kind of. Yeah, it looks like there might be our puppet, boys. Interesting. Uh, what about this? What about the Kenya affair? There's been a drastic shift of power in Kenya, and their new president refuses to acknowledge their preferential trade agreements is a uh, predecessor. Sign with the U.S. Okay, so they want to close the relationships with us. Negotiate a new trade deal and sign a, a appendix. Nullify the agreement and encourage U.S. companies to pull out of Kenya. I'm going to negotiate a new trade deal, send an appendix. Uh, we're going to ne negotiate a new trade deal. Why not? Let's hope that we can arrive at a new reasonable solution. Exactly. I'm sure we can arrive to a new uh, reasonable stuff, boys. Uh, let me see real quick. News. Pink Swear, a new song is a smash. All right. Let's go, boys. Good song, I guess. Uh, problem areas. Okay, so what is this? The White House Chief of Staff. Uh, good morning. Uh, we need to talk about one of your senior policy advisors, Mr. Johnny B. Bad. What a name, boys. Uh, are you, uh, as you are uh, no doubt aware, he is one of our most qualified men and his administrative talent has earned him a very strong position in the White House. However, this past year we've been receiving numerous complaints about his behavior. behavior. He, he's become uh, mean-spirited and difficult to work with, especially for unexperienced employees. I've looked at the number and it seems that he spent 40% of the last three months in various sensitivity, sensitivity training centers to, not, uh, to no avail. I'm beginning to think that his behavior is a deliberate way to ship wor uh, skip work, but at the same time, I'm hesitant to take any definitive action, knowing how much you uh, value him as a professional. Okay, well, harsh, dismissive, amused. You know what? Uh, uh, we will be uh, harsh. He's clever enough to know what happens if he doesn't uh, abide by the rules, and he sounds like he's gotten enough warnings. Fire him. It's as simple as that. It's business, man. You go fire him. All right, let's go. So, uh, we're going to fire him, fire that guy. Uh, we got a lot of society going up. So, society is really going up, which is really good news. Politics, not so much. Politics really needs to go up, boys, for an election. It's kind of low a little bit. Do we have anything for politics? No, that's going to bring down our politics. Outsource war material produ uh, production. Do not really. This would uh, unlock global economy scenarios. Okay. Um, we've got economy that would go up, but society goes down. I don't want that. Is there anything for society? Nothing at all. Since we got nothing for politics, boys, uh, I think I'm going to go for... This is going to bring down politics. I don't want to bring down politics, though. That's the problem. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's the politics. That's going to bring down our economy by a big shot, though. Our economy is going all right right now, but that's going to really hurt our economy. But I don't have a choice. I need our politics to go up. So we're going to offer some help. Uh, it's going to take two turns for that, but I need to do that. Uh, projects. Can I do something? Nothing else. Okay. What about threats? Global domination? Nothing at all, boys, I guess. This is supposed to go up every time uh, from 20 to minus 1. So our economy is going down, kind of, it looks like. Okay. Let me just uh, take a look. Our traits. We only have one trait. Let's just talk to uh, this guy right here. So who is this? Campaign chairman. Okay, so we're starting our campaign, boys. Uh, the nomination convention will start in a few hours. We are almost there, but it's going to be a difficult day, sir. Are you ready? Uh, ready as I'll ever be. Let's do. Okay, so, well, you are the most obvious choice for the presidential candidate. So you should do just fine, proving that you did nothing no morally questionable, sir. I would doubt that. Uh, let's not talk about the whole Taiwan situation. I think that's morally questionable, but I did what I had to do. Well, I'm depressed. Uh, stop offending me. All right, so, uh, stop offending me, all right? I did not want to offend you, sir. I just wanted to say, uh, uh, saying that your public mi uh, image com combined with the projects and development strategies are setting off co our, our course. Let's hope it, it is the right way. All right, so I'm always right. Let's go. Since today is going to define your and our politic future, I sincerely hope that you're prepared enough. Okay, so sure. Go ahead and uh, with your question. So, 
How are you going to convince the party that you give uh, to give you the right to re run for re-election? I don't. I don't know. I'm just going to make it because I can't do any of those two. I guess I'm just going to make it. I guess uh, I have to tell you that it sounds exactly like you were not prepared, sir. Are you my parent or something? To be honest, I wasn't worried about this convention until now. If you're not, if you, uh, if you do not convince the party. You will not come to be chosen, sir. Alright, just chill out, alright? Just chill out, my dude. Everything's gonna be fine. We'll be reelected. Don't worry about it. Don't you... I know you've seen Suzerain, but don't worry about Suzerain, alright? We'll do fine this time. Uh, alright, we are about to land. Let's fasten our seal belts, and I have a bad feeling about this convention. Uh, I do too. I don't care. Just sit down and watch uh, and chill, alright? We'll be fine. It's time for your speech. You stand in the spotlight getting sweaty, feeling strangled uh, by the tie. The room is filled with a buzz of chattering politicians, people uh, shuffling around in their seats and someone chewing their sandwich. This is your moment to shine. Let's see what we got, boys. That was 137 days ago in Boston, Massachusetts. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, you open your mouth. I like polar bears. Okay. I come here unprepared. Okay, so yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be uh, because now we're uh, we're talking to uh, the politicians, so we're not gonna we don't want we're not talking to masses people, boys. So I come unprepared. Suddenly everything fades to silence. You know this. Uh, you speak gibberish, but cannot stop. Anyway, I have something to tell you. I don't know what I have. Uh, I I said that. Uh, why I said that? No. Anyway, I have something to tell you. There is nothing, but void in your head. You feel dizzy. All right. So I can't remember. I uh, excuse me. I have to go. No, I can't remember. I w it was no surprise that you did not become a presidential candidate. Maybe in another time, in another life, you could have made it. You start wondering, was there something more you could do? Would you still be a president then, if only you could get a second chance? You did not again uh, enough. You did not gain enough statistic to complain the game. Uh, complete the game. Try again. Damn! I lost. The hell! I didn't even get reelected to my uh, to candidate. I don't. I didn't even become a, a candidate, boys. What the fuck? I thought I was gonna be doing good and stuff. I guess I was doing really bad. Holy! All right. Well, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end it right here. That's gonna be a shorter uh, type of game uh, video, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna end it right here. The the let's play. I'm gonna retry again uh, in the later. Uh, in the later month or something like that. Uh, right now there's a game coming up which is Sniper Elite. So I might take a break on Thursday. And come back for Friday with... Uh, I guess... Uh, at this point we're going to come back on Friday with... Uh, the new Sniper Elite game boy. Sniper Elite 5 which is going to be a great game. I, can, I already feel, uh, feel it. So as soon as we're finished uh, with either Sniper Elite or Last Judgment. Probably Last Judgment in first. So this we're going to be finished with one of those two games. I will come back to this one. I really loved playing this game. So I really want to try and see if it's possible for me at all to actually get reelected the proper way. Uh, I kind of did pretty bad though. I thought I was doing all right, but I guess I was pretty unprepared. And that was my ongoing uh, undoing right there. It was That was kind of a harsh from the game to do that to me though, but... Anyways, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to like and subscribe and enjoy the, uh, this one. Keep it easy.